Is this you when you have to do navigation in Godot? Do you want your pain and suffering, at least the one caused by navigation in Godot, to come to an end? Have you ever thought about how navigation could be so easy if it wasn't so complicated? Well, fear no longer, as I have the curve for all of your problems, at least the navigation related ones. Introducing Enhanced Nav Agent 3D. I haven't even told you about all of the cool features Enhanced Nav Agent 3D comes with. Enhanced Nav Agent 3D can not only simplify navigation into two easy to understand functions, it can not only automatically calculate avoidance for you, it will avoid other Enhanced Nav Agents just like your friends avoid you, it can not only show you where it's going and what path it's gonna take, it's better at communication than your colleagues. It can not only, uh, not only, uh, not only, shit, I think we ran out of features. Anyway. Say it with me. Enhance Snuff Agent 3D. Enhance Snuff Agent 3D. Enhance Snuff Agent 3D. Get a tattoo of this right on your forehead. Enhance Snuff Agent 3D. Let's hear what other Godot users have to say about this revolutionary product. I'm a computer science student and I would much rather write my own navigation algorithm. But yeah, for losers like you who are still stuck using a pre-made engine, I think it's pretty cool. Loser. Um, honestly, I just understood how the regular navigation works. And it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. I even have a tutorial of it on my channel. But I guess for like a beginner, it's pretty good. A noob. Does this work with my custom terrain plugin? If yes, that's pretty cool, not gonna lie. But still, not as cool as my terrain plugin, right? Using it is as easy as Pi. Just add it as a child node of your character body 3D, set that body as the char body property in the inspector, and voila, there you go. Now you can just use the set nav target method to set the target of the enhanced nav agent 3D and the get velocity to target method to get the calculated velocity. Plonk that velocity into your character body 3D, add some gravity, call move and slide and you're finished. Imagine how many pies you could bake in the time you saved with this. It's really as easy as pie.